algebra, geometry, trigonometry, calculus, and everything in between and anywhere else. I'm gonna skip how it's one of the most hated, hardest subjects, seeing as a large portion of you came to this video with that knowledge. The point of this video is for me to share my experience on the school subject, to throw out any tips and tricks if you're struggling, and to just talk about it overall. I consider myself very blessed when it comes to math. I started geometry in 8th grade, which still counted as a high school credit. Therefore, I could stop taking math after junior year, after taking calculus, and that would count as 4 years of math. I'll be honest, even though I pursued math this long, I don't have a fondness for it, and doubt I'll seek out any career involving it. Talent doesn't equal passion. This is honestly a sad truth about school in general. We seek out credits in classes that we have no desire for, a means to an end. I agree with required classes during freshman year to help a student understand their skills and passions, but when learning about the mitochondria and biology is memed to death, you know there's a problem with the system. I also want to make my point clear. Classes like English and Social Studies are still important. I just believe that math, and science as well, should be cut from the core classes. Not to mention the classes that should be part of the core roster. I could go into detail with the need for learning how to take out a loan or buy a home, but the main focus here is math. Math needs a major overhaul in its curriculum, in my opinion. Its flow is just non-stop, learning section after section, taking test after test. The cycle continues. The only times one needs to retain the information given is during a test or occasionally a following unit. What I would propose would be to eliminate homework from the equation. Pun somewhat intentional. Although studying can definitely help you retain the information, students already have to backpack piles of it. Math tends to be a large majority of it. What I prefer would be a slower pace, more so focused on in-class work than out-of-class work. Warm-ups, small group discussion, anything like that could definitely improve the subject. The linear format that math goes with resonates with me though, keeps me on my toes, helps me schedule my days, and so it would be beneficial to keep that style of linear progression in the program. Lastly, I'd like to share with you all my advice for getting through school's most dreaded subject. Apart from maybe sex ed. This is what I do, and it may not work for you, which is perfectly fine, as everyone has their own style. I ask you to at least consider my advice. The first thing you should keep tabs on, and this goes for all of your classes as well, is to keep a schedule in place. I'm not saying have it down to the minute, but just a generalization of when you plan to work on any homework. For instance, I plan around meals and consider if I can work on any homework before or after dinner. This can also fall into line depending on whether you're a morning person or a night owl, since you can get some work done in your preferred time. Branching out from hours come to days, which I should also mention, my school runs on a block schedule, which isn't the same in everyone's case. So for me, it gives me more time to get my math done, as it's usually two to four days until my next math class. If you don't have a block schedule, you can at least figure out how to schedule your weekend days. Next, I would recommend finding some classmates who you're comfortable with talking the material over, possibly even starting a study group. Although not math, I had a study group for chemistry and it taught me more than that teacher did. No offense to her, she's a sweet lady. I'm not just talking about getting together, although that can really help if someone is struggling with a certain concept in the material. No. You may also just start a group chat and discuss it. Just talking to them and getting more comfortable with them will not only help you be able to get more help more easily, but when you see them in the class you'll feel more comfortable in that. Finally, the last piece of advice I have for you people is to seek out after any resources you can find, even if your teacher doesn't give you many or even any. I'm not just talking about textbooks. There are definitely some amazing apps and YouTube videos out there that can save you in a pinch. I highly recommend you check out the YouTube channel Patrick JMT, especially. My teacher even puts his videos alongside his notes for us to watch. Definitely helped me with some concepts that were hard for me to grasp, and the ones that I did grasp were strengthened even more. If the idea of doing that still stresses you out, keep in mind it's not you doing the work there, it's Patrick. Even though those videos are old, they still hold up to this day. I'm glad I can just talk to everyone about this. Although it is despised, there's something fascinating about math. When I really dive deep into it, the competitive side comes out in me, and I get really into the moment. And then a story problem hits me and I fall apart. But hey, even when those 20 watermelons come tumbling towards you, don't give up. Even though I don't believe math is the best subject, it provides the best challenge. Although I mentioned earlier that math could go at a slower pace, I'm by no means wanting to make it easier. I just prefer math to be a marathon, not a sprint.